Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing three days living like Lori Harvey. I have to eat 120 calories. To start off my morning, I tried these low carb egg bites and some green juice. Lori Harvey says she eats around 1,200 calories a day, so I tried to eat as healthy and just as little calories as possible. Then I decided to go to Equinox and try out her treadmill workout. She posted it on TikTok. I tried it, I really don't like cardio, so. So right now I'm heading to Melrose Sunday Market, which is a place she frequently goes. I'm wearing a cute little bun, some earrings, and then I have on this black crop top from Target with a sports bra and some leggings. And I'm going to go to set active and just shop around and look around and I'll show you guys everything. So I went to the Melrose Market. It's on Melrose and La Cienega. It is so pretty. It was such an early morning. So it was chill vibes, quiet, and there was not that many people. They have just like fruit and vegetables and stuff. I know she comes here a lot, like into the Melrose Place area. That's like a hot spot in LA for a lot of people. But yeah, I just want, walked around. I went to set active and tried on some active wear. So sticking to my low calorie diet, I tried this bone broth. It was 80 calories, but it had a good amount of protein in it. So that was really good. Um, I also ate that with some toast. Looks like slices of bread, yes. And then I also had these vanilla bean coconut bars, which are really low calorie and they're so good. Uh, they don't have that much sugar in it. They're perfect for the low calorie diet. As for dinner, I ate this chana masala with sweet potatoes and rice. I did surpass my calories, but that's fine. I think I ate enough for my weight, my height and my activity level. But yeah, it was pretty healthy dinner. It was really good. Day two, I went to Pilates in the morning. I know she does Pilates all the time. I've been doing Pilates for around a year, so I understand Pilates and I love it. Then I went home and I had breakfast. I had avocado toast and green juice, which racked up to about 340 calories, which is not that bad. Then I went grocery shopping. It was around 9 a.m. I went to Bristol Farms, which is a very popular grocery store here for like a lot of influencers go here i guess i don't know it was cute it was my first time there it was very very chill especially early in the morning but i got some groceries i just got some like small little dinners and lunches and some chips and salsa they had a lot of good healthy options So you can't be a Lori Harvey without going to dinner or anything. So I went to Delilah's and this is in my other video. So if you want to see more about Delilah and other restaurants, you can check that out. But this was very, very fun. It was very, very cute and pretty and good food. Day three, I started with a breakfast sandwich, meatless breakfast sandwich. Then I had to head to my body sculpting appointment in the valley. I know a lot of influencers like Lori Harvey and Jordan Woods, they get these type of non-surgical procedures a lot like lymphatic drainage or body massage. This procedure helps with abs and body sculpting, which is great. As for lunch, I had these egg bites for 250 calories plus green juice and it was pretty good. And then for dinner, I just had sushi. I know she likes sushi, so we went to Manhattan Beach to get some, and it was really, really good. I don't know how many calories, but yeah, it was good. <laughs> 